Hey guys, looks like we're live. Let's see if I can find us. There we are. There we are. Okay, let me say hi. Hi Heidi, how are you? That's not what I wanted that to do. <laughs> Things just don't want to work today. Oh, copy pad. There we go. Now I got it. go got it in there hello hello find it here how is everybody today it's good to be here with you we're gonna do a really fun project hey Lourdes how are you hi Irene Hi, Leona. Hi, guys. We're going to, I got, I got my um, farmhouse hello kit in. So I thought I would come live and do it with you. We are going to do a workshop with this um, kit. So I wanted to show it to you today. I did put a link where you can purchase your kit. And then we will be doing um, a workshop via Zoom, a virtual workshop, um, sometime in the next couple of weeks. I want to give it plenty of time for everybody to get their kit um, so that we can have a fun craft night and do some door prizes and make beautiful things for our homes. So um, if you grab your kit, you will be part of that workshop. Thank you for sharing the chalk love. I appreciate that, Leona. Hi, Jennifer. How are you? Hi, Stephanie. Hi guys, there's Thelma. I see Thelma in the house. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so welcome to Diane's Designs in your boutique. If this is your first time with us, just pop on that oh, number one in the comments. I would love to welcome you. And uh, welcome to our amazing group of people that hang out here. Hello, Vicki, how are you? Hi, Susie, hi. Everybody's in the house today, I love it. So I am Diane Small, I'm the owner of Diane's Designs Boutique, and here we love to create and sell beautiful home decor, as well as teaching you how to make beautiful home decor for yourselves with our amazing Chalk Couture products. So um, you can find all of our amazing, amazing products at charmingchalkart.com. Really easy to remember, it's charmingchalkart.com. So you can check that out anytime. But this is how the kit comes, just like this. So I do have a limited number of them. So if you want to get in on the workshop, make sure you go to the link that I posted. I pinned it to the top. Um, the link probably won't work until after the live is over. But then you can go right there and grab your kit. So I, again, have a limited number. And once they're gone, they're gone. Um, the kits now mm, are coming without the greenery, but the ones that come from me will come with the greenery because I did get a few of them. And I'm looking for a pair of scissors. Here we go. Here we go. Pam is in the house from Missouri. What part of Missouri? My um, best friend Tracy and her husband and their family have um, homes on Table Rock Lake, just outside Kimberling City, and my kids grew up just about, they were there every other summer we were there on Table Rock Lake and went to um, all the fun places there. So I love Missouri. So what you get in your kit is you get some greenery You'll get some placement tape. I'm gonna pull you guys down so you can see this closer. Hang on. Let's let's get you right down here on top. You don't need to see me. So you'll get placement tape. You'll get a two little um, of our two of our color trays. 
you're going to get some ribbon, you're going to get a paintbrush, you're going to get a packet with two of our bright white paste. Let me see if I can get this open. Okay. So you're going to get two packets of our bright white paste and you'll get two packets of our black velvet paste and you'll get one of our mini squeegees. That will come in your kit. I am actually going to, instead of using the packets today, I'm going to use my jars just because I have them here. But you will just squeeze the paste right out of these packets. And there's enough in even one of these packets to do several projects. So you will probably have some left over. Um, there is a beautiful video um, directions of our designers uh, creating this piece that you will have and then of course we're going to do it together in a workshop where we can craft together it's going to be so fun you're going to get um, the directions written directions on how to create it so you can see right here well i go the wrong way right here this is what it's going to look like when it's done and then you'll get the hello transfer and remember this is reusable our transfers are reusable eight to twelve times so we're going to use it once on this, but you could use it on several other projects. So that makes it fun. Hello, Deborah. Hi, Judy. Welcome, welcome. And then you're going to get our 16 inch round, but what I love about it is it's double sided. So the plan is in the next couple of days, I'm going to come live again. We're going to do the hello kit on one side, but I'm going to do something else on the other so you can flip it around. Okay, so let's get this open. This is gonna be so cute. If I can get the scissors to poke through. There we go. Let's get this plastic loose. Everything is just comes packaged together so nicely. Happy Sunday, Joyce. How are you? Hey, Sally. Hi, Donna. How are you guys doing today? It is, yesterday was sunny and beautiful, and we had six of our grandchildren here just running around like wild little banshees. We had a great time with them. We had um, Lucian and Ophelia. We had them since Friday, and then Dennis and Alex, they had a memorial service to go to. Um, on the other side of the state, so they didn't want to put the kids through that long drive. Um, and then, so we had them until today when the kids got back, and then Ashley came with the other littles. Okay, do I already have a placement tape open? I might, I do. So I'm not going to open this one because I already have one here. I also have color trays I can use already open. Oh, these are open. What am I talking about, silly girl? Okay. We don't need the greenery till the end. Again, we're gonna be using our bright white and black velvet. So those are our two colors and I'm just gonna use those in the jars. So the first thing that we're gonna do is tape off a seven inch section. So what you're gonna do is look at how tall the letters are. The H is the tallest letter and it is these letters are a little over six inches, the tallest ones. So we're going to tape off a seven inch section in the middle or toward the middle of this. I want to bring it down a little bit because we're going to have the greenery and the bow up here and I don't want to cover up my hello. So I'm going to bring this down just a little bit. So I'm thinking probably right about there. I'm going to come right under the middle. I think that will be good. Let's see. That'll be good right there. Okay, so I'm gonna grab our placement tape, which I just had in my hand, right here. Um, about how thick is the round, please? It's half an inch, Susie. Half an inch. Great question. 
Okay, so I'm going to just tape off, going right straight across. Okay, that works. Our tape tears really easily too. You don't have to have a pair of shears to cut it. And then I'm gonna come down here at our seven inch mark. And we're gonna go right straight across there. That looks good. Okay, I'm gonna hold that up to myself and make sure I'm looking straight. Everything's looking good. So now what we're gonna do is take some of our bright white paste, so you would squeeze it out of your packet. And oh, I'm going to grab a little stir stick to pull this paste out. So again, you'll squeeze it out of your packet, but I'm going to just scoop it out of my jar. Hey Martha, how are you? So we were outside yesterday almost all day with the littles. They were just running all over, finding bugs and all kinds of stuff. So I'm gonna put about that much in my tray. Maybe a little more. This is a, quite a big section and we probably are gonna have to do two coats of the white. Clean that up. Now I'm gonna take my spray bottle. So just a, you just get a little spray bottle or just put a few little drops in there, just a few little drops, a little bit, and then we're gonna mix that up. And what we're doing is we're turning our paste into a paint. So we're gonna thin it out so that it is more of a paint consistency and I'm gonna stir it until everything is really well mixed. I don't have any lumps or bumps. It's nice and smooth. And again, we want it kind of a paint consistency. That's gonna be still a little thick, so I'm gonna add a little bit more water and just stir that up. You can see that I'm stirring, stirring, stirring until I get it all mixed in. There's no lumps or bumps. Everything is nice and smooth. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna take my paint brush because I'm working with a water-based product. I'm gonna wet my brush. It'll clean up a lot easier. So I'm just dampening it. And now we're just gonna start painting with our brush. And then we can mix up some more if we need to. So we're gonna just take our paint right over here and just start filling this whole section in. And I'm thinking I probably am going to have to do a couple of coats to get the coverage that I want. If you want it more um, uh, translucent, then you can just do one coat. It's all up to your design. So I'm doing nice long strokes and just covering everything nicely. So the amount I mixed up was great for a, at least one coat. So I would say that would be squeezing about half of the paste out of one of your white packets. You have two of them. So we're just gonna get this nice long even strokes. getting our brush strokes out of there. Okay, we're gonna go with that, and I'm gonna go ahead and get that dry. 
Hi, Carol. Hi, Milgross. Hi, Sherry. We are making our farmhouse hello kit today. And you can purchase the kit at the link that I pinned to the comments section. I think it doesn't work during the video, but once I'm not live, you'll be able to go and purchase. There are a limited number, and we will be doing a workshop. I will send um, each individual the date and time that we're going to do the workshop. I probably will do it on a Saturday. Just want to make sure we have time to get everybody their kit before we do it. We had so much fun in our little kitchen cutting board workshop. It's so cool that we can all just push a button and be crafting together from our own homes. It's awesome. So I'm going to get this good and dry before I put a second coat on. Hey Terry Jarvis, how are you? Hi Lynn. Guys, we also have Transfer Palooza going on this month. Till the end of the month, when you buy three transfers, you will get a fourth one free. So the, the way to best do that is if there's a couple of B's and a, you know maybe a couple of A's, group those together. And if you've got a few D's or E's that you want, group those together in a separate order. Then you're going to get, because you'll get the, the least expensive one will be the free one. So put four in your cart and one of them, the least expensive one, will be free this month. So you can easily see that it starts to change color as it dries. When you water it down as a paint, it takes just slightly longer to dry than when we use it as a paste. And I am going to want to put a second coat on here, so let's go ahead and mix up some more. I'm going to set my brush right there. And I'm going to mix up not quite as much as we did the first time because I'm just going to get a second coat on here so that it is more opaque. So add the water and then stir it up till it's nice and smooth. Another tip I'll tell you with your um, paint brushes, if you're going to and if you're painting one coat and you think you're going to need another one but it's going to be a while before you do it, just wet that brush down with a little bit more water and then wrap it in a wet paper towel or a baby wipe or something to keep it nice and moist so that the paint doesn't dry or paste doesn't dry in the brush. Hello Becky, hi Kathy. That looks perfect. So now we're going to, whoop, I knocked my handle off. I'm going to have to get some, a little bit of glue on that. Making a mess. What's new? I'm a messy crafter. Okay, so now we're going to put a second coat on here. Again, using nice long strokes. I'm not worried about it getting on my table underneath because it's going to wipe up real easy. I just got somewhere I didn't want it, so we'll wipe that off. Just a little bit more. I usually always make too much, so I try to be more conservative. I'm 
we can do this with any of our paste colors. The biggest thing is to mix it up till it's nice and smooth. Hello, Kay. Hi, Angie. So what are you guys doing today? Oh, this thing's going to make me crazy. I'm going to fix that. Just making sure I've got everything covered nice and smooth. And just smoothing out any brush strokes. So I'm lightening up the amount of pressure I'm putting on the brush and just smoothing out the strokes. good. Now I'm going to clean my brush out in my little water bath I have over here. Get all the white paste out of there. And I'm going to just put my little container aside. And now we're going to go on to our black velvet. So we're going to put a couple of stripes of black velvet paste on here, turn it into a paint. So I'm going to grab my placement tape again. Just cover it up. We'll just put two more stripes, like about three quarters of an inch wide. That looks good. So you'll have plenty of placement tape to do exactly what I'm doing here on your kit. Hi, Laurel. is empty. That is, that's not the one that came with the kit. This is the one that came with the kit. So that, I wanted to use up one I had open already. So I'm going to undo that. Find the end. set this down. Again, I'm just eyeballing about three quarters of an inch. That looks good. Just want a thin black stripe, so we'll take our black velvet paste. And I'm going to grab our little stick. You can use anything. Like I said, you'll be squeezing out of your packet, so you really won't need a little stick like this. You'll just mix it up with the, you can mix it right with the brush. I'm going to mix a little bit more. So again, this isn't even, this is probably about less than half the amount you'll have in your packet. Just one, and you have two packets. I always wipe that off and I've got to use it to mix it up again. A silly girl that I am. Okay. So let's just add some water. And mix that paste 
into a paint. And I'm going to mix it until the, it's nice and smooth, no, no chunkies. Hi, Tina. How are you today? I'm getting super excited to go to ChalkCon. I'll be going to our convention the 16th of next month. I'll be in Nashville, Tennessee. Are any of you guys near there? I'll be there for our ChalkCon convention, and I'm, this is my first trip since COVID. And I'm excited to do it. I'm fully vaccinated and ready to roll. So now I'm just painting our black stripe. Black velvet is really a deep color, so I'm probably only going to need to paint that once. So on each end, when you go out, you want to be coming out toward the end. You don't want to come in because you could lift your tape. So move out toward the edge. So see, I'm not starting right on the edge. And then when I go that way, I'm going to be going out. Same thing here. Okay, that looks good. All right. Our paintbrush cleaned off in my little water bath. And then just wipe it down. Okay, so that white looks good. I think everything looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and start drying this a little bit. Just to hurry it up. Hi, Susan. Hi, Sharis. Did I say that right? Hi, Sharis. Hi, Tracy. Welcome, guys. Thanks for coming. We are making a cute farmhouse. Hello, door tag or door hanger. This is our farmhouse hello kit. So you get everything to make this just like I'm making it. So I just like to start drying it and then I'm going to remove my tape. This is so fun, these nice crisp clear lines. right in the trash as I pull it up. Oh, I think that's going to be so pretty. Okay, and then we'll grab these two, get those pulled up. Perfect. Finish getting it dry. You can see right here I had a little bleeding, so I'm going to just take my towel and clean that up. Get that line nice and straight. That's perfect. Okay, let's get this dry. Ooh, it looks
looks like I got a little bit. So when you put your tape down, make sure you put it down nice and tight. I just didn't get it down quite tight enough, so I'm going to just clean it up like that. Now we're not going to do anything else until we get this totally dry. Hey Elaine! How are you? Girl, you still haven't sent me the info on the shipping on that uh, wind chime. You gotta let me know. Hello Chris! Hi Angie! So the biggest thing is to make sure all your paint, your paste um, is dry before you put the transfer on it. Because if it's not good and dry, you could lift it up. I like those little black lines, they really set it off. so sweet, Elaine. Thank you so much. I so appreciate you sending that to me. Hello, Dawn. Hi, Diane. Hi, Becky. Okay, so we're going to make sure, so I can tell it's not completely dry right there. Got to make sure it's completely dry. So you can use a blow dryer for this. This is our drying tool um, that will be back in stock as soon as the shipping container can get here, which everything's taking longer these days, right y'all? I know everything I order takes longer to get to me. And your white stripe can take a while to dry because you put two coats of it on there. So you don't want to hurry this stuff. So when we do the workshop, you'll want to have a blow dryer there, and we'll just take whatever time we need to get everything nice and dry. feel if it's damp anywhere underneath. Hey sweet hairdresser friend, how are you? Thanks for coming. We're making a cute door hanger, Carolyn. Okay, I'm just going to clean the paste up. You can see how easily that just wipes up. So. I would just put a piece of craft paper down or a paper bag or something underneath it when you paint. Okay, so there we have that. Now our next step is going to be to fuzz our hello transfer. So you cannot buy this transfer by itself. You can only get it in the 
farmhouse hello kit. I'm going to set this away from me so I don't stick my fingers in that because I'm a messy crafter. Can anyone else relate? Okay, so I'm going to put my brush aside. I got to good and I'm gonna bring our fuzzing cloth out here's our fuzzing towel now you can use a bath towel you can use um, a, your sweatshirt um, your apron your jeans you don't have to have a fuzzing cloth so our fuzzing cloths are like a terry towel like a bath towel on one side and the other side is like a chenille side it's like a um, It's smoother, it's, it's, a, it's a chenille side. It's just a different texture. And that's the side we wash and dry transfers with, and this is the side we fuzz them with. So what I like to do always is right back on the back of my transfer, or I can just put the um, name of the transfer on there, just so you've written something. Because when we're done with the transfer, we're gonna wash it, just with plain water, we're gonna dry it, and then we're gonna put it back on the super shiny side of this backer sheet. So one side is a matte color, and the other side is super shiny. See how shiny that is? That's the side you always put it back on, and if I write on the back of it, I'm not as likely to get the wrong side. I have done that when I was chit-chatting and not paying attention. So I found when I write on the back, I can quickly tell, oop, that's not the right side when I'm doing nine things at once and not paying attention. So now we're just gonna fuzz this transfer. And what the fuzzing is, is just getting some lint off this towel on the back of the transfer, the adhesive side of the transfer, so that it will ease that stickiness a little bit off my fingers, okay? So I'm just fuzzing it until I can let go of it easily. That's feeling pretty good. Okay, now we're going to bring our board back. I'm gonna have it looking at me to line it up. So we measured our letters. We know our letters are six inches, so we made a seven inch strip. And I can see my white line right through the transfer. So I can easily line it up. I'm looking at what I have here and what I have here. I'm kind of an eyeballer from way back and I'm, I'm pretty, pretty good at it. So I need to go this way ever so slightly. So we'll just move it down slightly, slightly. We'll look through again, centering it. Okay, we're there. Now what I'm gonna do, this is, this is a transfer. This is not um, a, a stencil. A stencil where it looks like there's a hole you can actually put your finger through. This has got a clear mesh screen in it, so I can't put my finger through it, which is why we use these to do um, clothing too with our ink. So now that I've got that on there, I'm gonna just gently lay it down. I'm not putting a lot of pressure at all but I'm pushing any air that could get trapped under there, I'm pushing that right out. And this transfer has all the distressing right in the transfer. I'm gonna hold it up close so you can really see. I'm gonna bring it right down. So you can see like the green parts that are in the middle of this H. So that's gonna leave, there's little tiny dots here. So this is gonna automatically look like distressed lettering just in the transfer itself. So we've got that done. I'm gonna turn it toward you and pull it back. And then we're gonna do this with our black paste. So you'll have used 
part of one to paint your stripes. Um, you should have plenty left to do this part. Um, if not, you have an extra packet in your kit. And you will use your mini squeegee. So I'm going to use a mini squeegee just like what you will have. Just one of our minis. And so you're going to take your paste packet and you're just going to squirt some here and there on the transfer. So instead of squirting, I'm just going to kind of lay it down out of my jar. So I have it here and there on the transfer. And now we're just going to cover all that open screen. You're just going to scrape your paste and cover all that open screen. Okay, you can see I have plenty, plenty of paste. So you're gonna scrape off anything extra and if you have a little jar with a tight lid, you could put it in that. It's kind of hard to get back in the packets but if you have a little jar with a tight lid, you can scrape it right back into that. So now I'm going to scrape back all the extra paste, scrape it up, and scrape it back in the jar. So we really use very little paste on a project. Okay, and now that I have that done, I'm going to just pull top to bottom or side to side and I'm going to gently lift the transfer and there we have our beautiful rustic farmhouse hello so now let me show you how we clean it I'm going to set this aside a little bit to let that dry and I'm going to bring my little bucket of water over here. So this is just plain water. I'm going to go ahead and squeeze out. This is one of our board erasers that's in my hand. They work great to clean the transfers. So I'm going to set it sticky side down first. And the water will deactivate the sticky for just a little bit. Yes, this is the kit, Jana. How are you? Thank you for spreading the chalk, love. I appreciate you. Hi, Flora. And now, now that the sticky's deactivated, see, it won't stick to itself. Now I'm going to flip it over. And we're just going to kind of marinate that a little bit. And then I'm going to take my board eraser. You can just use a damp cloth. You don't, no soap, you guys, just water. No soap. So I'm just going to clean the back. And then I'm going to flip it over and clean the front. The other thing, you do not want to leave the transfer sitting in water. You don't want to leave it sitting in water and just walk away because you will ruin all the adhesive on the back of your transfer. So you want to wash it right away. Of course, I'm making messes because that's what happens. So I've got the majority of everything washed off the transfer, so now I'm going to bring back my cloth. Now you can do this with just a regular towel. I'm going to bring back and I'm going to use the chenille side of my fuzzing cloth. And I'm going to lay it sticky side down first, and I'm going to really wipe any residue of paste away from the transfer. Just clean it, clean it, clean it. Okay, that looks good. I'm going to set this aside. The board eraser, our, our paste are organically pigmented. They're non-toxic and they're water-based. So you will see a little bit of a shadow left from the black paste. That's purely cosmetic, but the board eraser does take a lot of that off the transfer. 
Now I'm going to flip it over to the sticky side, which isn't super sticky right now because it's wet. But when it dries, all that sticky is going to come back. So I'm going to wipe the back to make sure I remove any residue from my surface, that whatever surface you used it on. So we're going to take all that residue away. And then I'm just going to leave this to dry, okay? I'm just going to leave it to dry. And then once it's completely dry, I'm going to put it back on the real shiny side of our backer sheet. But because we're, I want to show you that all the sticky comes back, I'm going to use our um, drying tool. This is not a heat gun. Our drying tool is specially made to a certain temperature so it will not melt your, melt your transfer. Do not do this with a heat gun or a blow dryer on, you know, even warm because you'll melt your transfer. But I'm going to do it with this because it's made to do this. This is the Chalk Couture one. Hello, Tracy. Hi, Diane. So I want to just get this dry because I want to show you all that sticky will come right back. So it's like a miracle. It's so revolutionary that they will not, once they're wet, they do not stick to themselves. So you can wash them and not worry and then it'll all come right back. So if you're just joining us, this is our Farmhouse Hello Kit. I did put the link in the comments to purchase the kit, and then we will be doing a workshop where we're gonna craft together. So you, you're seeing me make it on this video, but I love to do workshops. We do a lot of workshops, and we craft together on a Zoom link. It's virtual. And we all craft together and I do door prizes and it's just lots of fun. So that that's gonna happen probably around the 12th of June. That way I have time to ship everybody's kit to them. So see, all the sticky comes back. Just like that, all the sticky's back. So I'm just gonna set this aside well, wait, let, me, let me just get it completely dry and then I'm going to stick it back on the backer. I'll show you that too. Hello, Sharon. Hi, Lillian. Welcome, everyone. Okay. So I'm going to bring our backer sheet back, the shiny side. And the easiest way to put these back on is to lay your transfer on your counter. And then, let's see, that's the bottom. I'm gonna put it this way. And I'm just gonna look and line this up, the backer sheet, lay it down, smooth it out, and then flip it over and smooth out any air that may be underneath. And now I have it back on my backer sheet and I'm gonna stick it right back in the cellophane that it came on and it is good to go for another, um, seven to 11 <laughs> times. I have many transfers, I've used way more than that. I take very good care of my transfers and um, they serve me well. Okay, so we are done pasting. So we're gonna just make sure it's all dry before we go messing around doing the top part and doing our bow. So our paste will dry all by itself in five to eight minutes. But I like to make sure it's completely dry. So now I can run my hands all over it. It's not gonna come off. So you really do not, if you, unless you have a door that's gonna get like torrential rains blowing at it, you really don't need to seal this. I do stuff on my um, outside on my porch, my covered porch, all the time. It's not sealed, it's just fine. Even if this gets dew on it from the night air or it gets a little misty, as long as you don't touch it, just let it dry. It'll dry hard again, just like this. So now I'm gonna grab my shears and open the greenery. Mm 
And then we're going to just give this a little fluff. Fluff things out a little bit. I like to get some movement in it. Make sure our leaves are facing the right direction. Okay. I want to see the back of leaves. So these are going to go right up here at the top. And we're just going to glue them on. Get that turned. Okay. And this is where our hanger is going to go. So let's go ahead and just throw a little hanger in there. So you can use any kind of twine, any kind of wire. I'll just throw a jute one on because I've got some jute right here. So we'll just run this through there. And then loop that through again. Okay, so did you see how I did that? Let me do it again so you can see. So if you've got some jute cord or cotton cord, anything like that, just fold it in half. Put the loop through, bring it to the back, and then loop that through there. Okay? And then you can tie off up here so that you've got a nice hanger, however long you want it to hang on your door. But let's say I don't really need that much, so we'll just pull that down and I'm going to make a knot. Then we'll just cut that off, and now I've got a great little hanger. And then we don't need these so long, so I'm going to cut some of that off there. I don't want them to overlap on here. And this is the middle, so I'm going to leave room for my bow, so you're going to get some ribbon. This ribbon is not wired. Let's just you get a good amount of ribbon here to make a like a double double loop bow. So we're gonna want some tails hanging down. Right about right there. So I'm just going to see how this goes. So we'll just flip this under. We're going to see how big of a loop we want. Put that back. Okay, that's, that's pretty good. We don't want too big of loops because it'll get, it's not wired, so it's going to get kind of floppy on us. So I'm going to twist, make another loop. Pinch that. I'm gonna make sure they're the same. Let's see, that's looking good. Twist. I'm gonna make another loop. Kind of lay it next to the first one. Just pinch it. One more loop. About the same. And we'll pull another tail down. That'll be good. So if you have a pipe cleaner or a piece of wire, that's a good way to do just tie it together. Make sure I've got the right side up. Okay, that looks good. I think I'm going to add one little, I'm trying to think if I want to add a little middle loop. I think I might. I'm just going to loop that up like that. 
So I've got a little button in the middle like that. And then I still have plenty for a tail, okay? That's cute. Pinch that together. Let me grab a pipe cleaner. Got a little black pipe cleaner here. I'm gonna run that around to the back. And then I'm gonna pull it tight and twist the bow. I'm twisting the bow, not the pipe cleaner. So I'm twist the bow so that wire gets really tight to it. Okay. And we'll twist, twist, twist. And then we're just gonna use some hot glue to glue this on. We've got a little button there and I'm gonna just push that back. So there, we've got a little, cute little bow. Now if you wanted to use um, some fabric stiffener, spray some fabric stiffener on, on your ribbon, you can do that too. But I think it's gonna be just perfect. I'm going to cut these down a little bit shorter and then I've got my glue gun ready. Hi Patricia! Hi Paula! How are you? Isn't this looking cute guys? Give me some hearts if you like this. Just a simple easy little farmhouse hello door hanger good for all year long and then you could do something different on the back side so this girl loves a good twofer where you can do one side one way and the other side a different way so I'm just gonna bring these up here and we're just gonna grab my hot glue gun and I'm gonna lay some glue down I just want to make sure that my bow is gonna cover the guts of what I'm doing underneath and that will Okay, so we'll just lay this down, throw some glue on it, and lay the stem right in that hot glue. And then we'll lay this stem right in the hot glue. And you can like give them a little bend. These are wired, so if you want it to kind of come down the side a little bit, you can also manipulate it once your glue is dry. So I'm gonna lay these both together. like that and I'm going to give this one just a little bend also be careful not to stick your fingers in the hot glue you don't want to hurt yourself give that wire a bend just to give it some life okay that's good now I'm going to take my bow and I'm gonna shoot some glue down right in the middle here. Be generous. You don't want anything coming apart. And then I'm just gonna lay this right on top of that. And I'm gonna use these to push it down so you don't, do not want to burn your fingies. We're gonna fluff those up a little bit. I'm just gonna hold this down. we're going to cut our tails. This little tail is kind of long yet. Or I could like even run this behind the greenery or weave it kind of through the greenery if I wanted to. All kinds of different things you can do, but I'm going to hold it till it's dry before I go messing with it. So you can lay this um, ribbon out like, um, you know, double it and then tie it like you would a bow on your shoe. You don't have to do it this way. Just a little cute little double bow is all you want. Okay, that looks like it is in there pretty good. All right, let's just trim these at an angle to give them a little bit of interest and not just straight. The other thing I could do that would be kind of cute is you could loop it up and just put a drop of hot, another drop of hot glue there. That 
would be cute. I might leave this tail longer until I decide what I want to do with it. And we're just going to cut an angle just to make it not straight across. But that would be that would be kind of cute just to let it trail behind here. I think I like that, guys. And then I've got this this little tail. Cute. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to wait until I hang it up, but maybe I'm not. I like that. I'm going to do it. So I'm going to put just a drop of glue underneath. And let that kind of loop up around that greenery. And just pop that in that glue. Get it to come out the way I want. Yes. Okay, guys, that is our Farmhouse Hello Kit. You get everything you need except the little jute rope. You'll have to get you a little jute rope or something else. But how cute is that? Is that not sweet? And how fast did we do that? I mean, it took an hour because I was chit-chatting and stuff. But, yeah, you'll do this in less than an hour. Thanks for the hearts, you guys. So I did put the link that you can purchase one of these. There are a limited quantity that I have. Um, I ordered these and they're right here with me at the house. So they will come from me. Um, and it's $59.99 and that includes shipping and everything. So you'll get this. And then let me give you a little hint. Like I said, I love a good twofer. So you can do the back side of this. See, even the greenery popping up doesn't, it looks, it looks fine, right? So let me show you what I'm going to do on the back side of it. So like I told you, we have Transfer Palooza going on. So you can go to charmingchalkart.com, pick four different transfers, put them in your cart. One of them, the least expensive one, is going to be free as long as you do it this month. This is what I'm putting on the back of it. This is our America the Beautiful transfer. And yep, that's way bigger than that round, but this fits on the back of this round. So we're gonna be painting the back and we're gonna be doing this. So you may wanna grab some other transfers. The back would look cute with buffalo plaid pattern on it, get a little really farmhouse, and then doing another transfer in the middle. So many different things you can do getting some wooden, a wooden welcome word or the metal welcome words and putting that on with a pattern transfer. So many different things you can do. So um, yeah, that's it guys. So I hope you enjoyed this and um, I will see you all again real soon. Have a blessed rest of your day. Bye for now.